Let's do some lashes. Let's do some lashes. I'm gonna use this, the AMZ Girl Midnight Set, and I'm gonna put the lash map in right before we get into it. All right, so let's get into it. So we are starting with the lash bond, which is basically the black glue. And we are using that mascara type wand not to brush it completely through the lash. From what I have been told, we are just applying a nice strong coat to the base of the eyelash. We don't want to comb it all the way through like mascara. Even though you might catch me doing that a couple times, just understand sometimes you might catch me slipping but you really not supposed to okay do what you want to do do what you want to do do what you want to do but you're not supposed to if you catch my drift okay so i am according to the lash map if you took a screenshot i am starting with the lashes and i am i prefer regular tweezers that way i can hold them at a better angle and i also split my glue up i don't put glue on all of the lashes i put it on as i go and then i let it get a little tacky as i apply the glue so you know if you blink throughout the process and if you got glue all the way through you you, you notice it get that sticky feeling so i only do it where i'm you know as i go along so I'm applying it in the middle. I like these lashes. It's just that they look a little shiny at the base of them. But I like the wispiness of them. These are by AMZ Girl Lash. I do like them. And the glue is pretty good. It lasts a couple of days. My favorite glue so far has been. I'll list it. Um, it's in my one of my links you'll see it in here somewhere but this glue did last a couple of days it didn't last as long as i'd like to but i am an oily girl that probably has something to do with it and i do take a lot of walks and exercise quite a bit so i'm a sweaty girl but i was going for a cat eye wispy look and you see how they're so pretty and wispy it's just they're really shiny at the base and i kind of don't like that um so I'm almost done with this eye. I'm adding the glue to the back. You see, sometimes I would use the fan to get it a little tacky. And then go ahead and apply that last lash. So now that I'm done with this eye, I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and get to my sealing process, which tends to be the way to keep a good hold on your lashes i learned this on tiktok y'all so we're just gonna speed up through this and it's pretty much the same process different eye Okay, now here's the good part. We have our lash seal. Now, I do put it on the bottom first 
why because the process for me to put the lash seal when i close my eyes i don't want them to stick together that be pissing me off because sometimes the whole lash come off so i put it on the bottom first and then i put it on the tweezers and i squeeze you see how that lash band is lifting a little bit when you do this whole squeeze process that helps lay them all flat then this is the magic you take the wand and you brush down on the top of the lashes which helps seal them lashes tight it helps activate that glue somehow some way it's activating up that way i guess because we put the glue up there it's connecting to the glue better than at the bottom of course that makes sense right duh but this is the magic put it on the top however you got to do it and then i have my fan and i sit there and i let it dry for a minute and i do a little dance and a little comb out with my little wand i got these off amazon and i will have them linked below they're in my amazon storefront i think this fan is in my st my storefront as well but it's just a little regular degular regular fan and then we brush them out and we good to go Um, I love getting individual lashes, but I'm probably never going back because I hate laying back on my back and it hurts my back. So for all my disabled girlies, if you like doing makeup and doing your own lashes, this is such a great option and this helps them last this process. So I'm going to have all the things that I use listed in some type of link some type of way down there just check the description box and I'll have the info down below and if you tuned in this far I appreciate you so much don't forget to like and subscribe see you on the next video